Hey guys, how do you like my hat? <laughs> I ordered this off of Amazon and it just came and I thought I would kind of, it doesn't really match, I don't think what I'm wearing, but I just thought I'd kind of model it for you so you could have a little giggle. So people are out mowing the lawn and it is a beautiful fall day in New Hampshire. Today it was like really, really warm. It was like amazing. I couldn't believe it. And I love fall because the leaves are turned, the colors are beautiful, it's amazing, but I just hate what comes next. I really do, I hate what comes next. So next is winter. Yesterday, Jay and I had driven, got up super, super early, and we had driven up to the North Conway, New Hampshire area where I was teaching a class. And I had 67 students in my class, so yeah, I had to be there on time and stressed out I didn't sleep well the night before because I always worry about oversleeping and you know when you have something you just have to do, you know how you kind of worry about that? So we left super early, got there on time, and I taught the class. It went really well. I was very, very pleased. I got a lot of good reviews, you know, stuff like that. So that was kind of really cool. We decided on our way home that we would go across the Kangamangas Highway, which we hadn't planned on doing. So we figured we'll go across the Kangamangas Highway and then head down 93 to the office in Londonderry. So the Kangamangas is probably a very, um, it's, it's a very popular, it's a very well-known, scenic, scenic, scenic roadway. Um, I'm going to insert a couple of clips here. We stopped a couple of places just so you can see a little bit of the fall colors, the foliage, how beautiful it looks. Wasn't dressed for the occasion because I had been teaching. I had my pearls on. Of course, I have my pearl earrings on now. But I had my pearl necklace. I had a long, a long sleeve top and I had you know, wedge sandals that were high. So they weren't like high heels, but they were high that it was not conducive to trail walking. But here's a couple of clips of our Kangamangas, you know, the stops that we made. And isn't it beautiful? So we decided to take the, um, the long way home. And the long way home from up here is to go across the Kangamangas Highway. So we went from Route 16 we're going to go across the tank and then we'll go down Route 93 and yeah, I don't know. We'll just see. That's what we decided to do. I don't have my mic, so I'll be really curious as to how the sound is. Hopefully it'll be okay. I don't think it is. So fall foliage. I don't know if it's at its peak. I don't think so. I'm hoping it's going to be nice next week because we have special guest coming. So we're at, what is this place called? Rocky Gorge. Rocky Gorge. We get plenty of uh, videos and photos in Rocky Gorge. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it is like 2.30 in the afternoon, Jay said, and the sun is like really out bright. Considering this morning it was like dark and rainy and foggy in. So I don't know if you can see behind me. It's just really super, super, super pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. A little stop in Rocky Gorge. We're both overdressed. I mean, I'm in my outfit that I wore to teach, which is a long sleeve shirt with bell cuffs, my pearls, my pearl earrings, and I have um, high heel, sort of high heeled shoes. Not at all walking shoes, right, Jay? Yeah, and I got a heavy sweater on because it was about 50 degrees out when we left this morning. And we hadn't really planned this. But it kind of made sense because we were up here just to go across the kank. Yeah, but it was cloudy, overcast all morning. Yeah, and we thought we could get some really nice riveting pictures. Yeah, this is sort of a, wasn't really a time lapse, but I'm going to, you know, speed it up so that you can see what the roadway, what it was actually like heading to 93. And we drove down 93. Then this morning, I had to get up early again. And I had to go to Concord, New Hampshire, where I was teaching the exact same class, but to a much smaller crowd in my Concord office. I think I had 17 signed up, so much smaller crowd. But on the way up, I decided to stop in Auburn and just check this little area out. It's like so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I hope you can see, I'll go this way. I don't know if you can see it this way either. Some of the colors of the trees. And I apologize, I don't have my mic on, but that's a little waterfall. And this is just in the side of the road in Auburn, New Hampshire. It's just really pretty here. 
look at the colors. It's like, this is probably 20 minutes from the house. Sorry about the wind noise and the traffic. I should have taken the time to plug my mic in. I didn't. Yeah, Auburn, I mean, I love it. The waterfall, the side of the road, the colors, everything is amazing, I love it. So. One thing I really wanted to, I know I had inserted the wedding clip and talked about the wedding and done all that in the previous vlog, but one of the clips that I was missing was my Insta story of the wedding day. And this was before the ceremony began. So I did this Insta story, and you know, Insta stories on Instagram only survive, oh, that buggy bite, only survive like 24 hours and then they disappear. So sometimes I save my Insta stories well, I was really disappointed because I couldn't find the Insta story that I saved anywhere. And last night I found it on my iPad. So I must have somehow been on my iPad late that night and decided to save that Insta story. So I found it. And so I'm going to insert it here for you to watch. And so the wind is kicked up. And uh, but take a look at, I don't know if you can see it. It is absolutely gorgeous behind me. Gorgeous. And this is where I'm gonna be standing. Ah, oh, wind, wind, go away. Come back another day. We don't want you here today. Oh, that rhymes. Yep. So you can see the back of my hair. Yeah. In my outfit of the day. Happy Monday. I think it's October 1st. We had the most amazing time. This wedding weekend was absolutely beyond perfect. I mean, beyond perfect. The wedding, the reception, the rehearsal, everything was perfect. And the zip lining, holy mackerel. We had the most amazing crew zip lining here at Sunday River. We had the, the double Brandons and the Brian. Yeah, the crew totally rocked. They took care of us because we had a, a mixture. We had some really young, adventurous people from the wedding party. And then we had the older folks, Jay and I, and the, the bride's paternal grandparents in their 80s, and my sister. And for many of us older folks, that was the very, very first time. So I don't know if they took us sort of on the bunny zip lining, but we did. We had six lines, I guess you call it. And then we had the grand finale, which was like really awesome. Yeah, and I, I took I took a tent. We're packing up so the condo, the unit's a little messy, but I actually took a ton, a ton of video clips of the, you know, reception, of the wedding. Well, not me. I had actually given my camera to my son, Michael, so that he could shoot some clips because I was, you know, I was doing the wedding. So I'm doing a last minute check around, make sure there's nothing left in all these bedrooms. We have a two bedroom suite. And he, so anyways, he did an amazing job. He just took a bunch of little pictures and Jay recorded the entire wedding ceremony where I officiated. And as if you follow my YouTube channel and even here on Instagram, you know, I was really nervous about it, but it like, it, it was like, it went amazingly well. It really did. So everything was like awesome on, you know, on it. And I didn't mess up. <laughs> I was worried that I was going to mess up, but I really did mess up. And it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's just beautiful here because leaves are all turning and there was some vibrant reds and some beautiful golds and stuff like that. So um, I'm doing a last minute sweep. Of course, I found stuff. Jay and I stayed in this smaller bedroom and gave my mom and dad. Yeah, we, we gave my mom and dad the master suite with hat, which has like a huge, huge bathroom. It's like amazing. And, uh, but we had, I mean, we had a queen size bed and then we had bunks in there and then we had our own little, you know, own private bathroom. So it worked out great. And so Jay took mom and dad and they went down to the restaurant to have something to eat. And I was just like doing some last minute stuff. Plus I was bad yesterday food wise. So I'm going to be very good on my diet today and not, 
Yeah, so it's, um, I was bad food-wise, so I'm just going to do my isogenic breakfast shake and and uh, be really good today. But I was, it was such an adventurous day with the zip lining. I was exhausted. But wait till you guys see the wedding pictures. I'm going to do some video clips and insert them in my YouTube channel. But you can check my regular Instagram feed. I do have a couple of little pics there. But <laughs> the bride was beautiful. The bride was absolutely gorgeous. The, the groom was gorgeous too. And uh, the wedding photographer did an amazing, amazing job. The pictures are like unbelievable. The mountains, the bride, the groom, oh my gosh. And for me having, you know, my, my children, my my boys all here and the family, what a, what a beautiful wedding. Caitlin, she's on Instagram. She's, she's just gorgeous and I was so honored I was so honored. I was so deeply touched to have been such a, I'm even crying thinking about it. Many of you know I started to worry about, oh my gosh, I'm tearing up, <laughs> crying. Oh no, it's raining out. That means we're going to have a rainy ride home. Oh, out. So yeah, the wedding weekend was wonderful. I mean, everything, everything was perfect. The zip lining the next day was really awesome. So it was just a wonderful weekend and I was so glad I found that clip because it kind of shows you sort of a little bit of my, you know, me, uh, the emotion, the setup before anyone got there, before the people arrived and all that stuff. So it was like really cool. I, it was perfect. So Happy Thursday. I think it's, I think it's October 11th. For some reason, my Apple Watch is playing something, probably music on my phone and um, so I can't really check the date but I do think it's October it's Thursday anyways and I'm heading to Londonderry and I did an Insta story this morning talking about poor Jay left his phone behind and he's gone to Portsmouth he's going to be teaching all day today and I know he's going to be going freaky crazy because he doesn't have his phone so I'm I d was debating do I bring it with me or do I leave it behind so I'm bringing it with me still debating on the Halloween plans. Those of you that have been following me for a while or watching some of my videos, you might remember that last Halloween we went down to Salem, Massachusetts. I did a vlog on it. So we're thinking of doing the same thing and we just haven't made up our mind, you know, what we want to do. But I want to do something different in a way. We've done Salem the last two, or has it been three years? So we've gone down to Salem, Mass for Halloween and that whole area that whole town obviously is like totally, you know, totally insane when it comes to Halloween and the witch hunts and all of that stuff in the history. It's very, very sad. But it's also at the same time kind of really interesting to see all the different costumes. And I'm just feeling in that mood. So, so I don't know, you know, and um, this weekend we have a birthday party. Uh, I have a birthday party that I have to go to and Jay is, he's going to have, he's working Saturday, he's golfing all day Sunday in a league and then next week is just, a, I think, more of an insane week. I can't say much, but I'm going to have a guest. So anyways, that's the scoop at this point in time. I don't know if I'll be checking in in a little bit or not because I really don't know what my day is going to bring. <laughs> I really don't. So I love these earrings. I got these earrings. I don't know. Did I? I think I got them last year in Bar Harbor. Like, not this past August, but the August before. And I really like them. They're made. They're handmade. All little stones in the little. You probably can't see them. All little stones in the little wire and all that. I really do like them. They're kind of really cute. And my mark on my forehead is getting better. Although I have been covering it with foundation because I look like I have this big, big mother zit on my forehead. So that's that's a, my check-in for my uneventful vlog. Although I do hope you like the previous stuff that I Hey guys, I just got home. I'm not feeling the greatest. And so I got home and I put on a sweatshirt and I just threw my hair up in like this funky thing. And I was just gonna get ready to wash my face off, all my makeup, my eyes. And I said, oh my gosh. I really want to get the vlog uploaded and I never did an ending. So this is going to be the ending of the vlog that you're going to see. But the one thing I wanted to tell you, and please pardon my appearance, is about, it's uh, it's been almost eight months since I started to use the Olay 
Eye Pro Retinol. I have the red US version and I have the white UK version. I started to do a test on, I'll try to link that video. I did like one on one eye, one on the other, but you know, my eyes, the wrinkles are very uneven anyways. And because you know, you drive and all that stuff. So that wasn't really making a whole bunch of sense for me, but I did try it for a couple of months. And then I went back and I just finished out using the red one, the, uh, the US version. And then I started to finish using the white one. And I've used it since February 14th, 2018. So it's like 10 months of use for me. And quite frankly, I have not seen any noticeable difference between the US version and the European version, the white and the white tube. The ingredients are different. I like the ingredients. I think, I think the product is really good, but I have not seen a huge difference at all or any noticeable difference to me. I am a firm believer that you need to try a product for a, a while before you can say, hey, this is awesome or hey, not. Otherwise, you're giving a first impression. And when I started to use the white version, the UK version, I had watched some videos and they were raving about how great this was. And it was like a, almost like an overnight miracle or something. And I never really felt that way. It never really happened to me. And, it just, and it's, this goes to say everyone's skin is different. So just because it didn't happen to me doesn't mean that it didn't happen to anyone else. But I am truly going to continue to use the product. I, I, will, I do love the product. I will not spend the extra money, however, to buy the European version because I just, the shipping, the difference and all that. I just could not justify that expense when I can go to the store and buy the red tube, the, um, the U S version. So I'm going to continue using the product. I like the product. I like the idea of having a pro retinol that can go right up under my eyes. Did notice early on, and I think it's, even with the, the US version, I did notice that I thought my sharper lines had softened. And when I look in the 10 times mirror, that's what I see. I feel they've softened. But is it a huge visible in the camera? No, you know, people seeing me on the street? No. However, I feel comfortable enough with the product that I will continue to use the Olay Pro Retinol Eye. It's just, I'm going to use whichever one I can get my hands on. And in this particular case, it is the U.S. version. Uh, I do have the, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not really the, feeling the greatest. I do have the U.K. version, like I said, and I actually have two tubes of it. So what I'm going to do, guys, if you made it this far into the end of this video, is I'm going to, I'm going to do a giveaway. And I'm going to give away one tube of the UK version to somebody, but this is not going to be open international. I'm sorry, guys. It's only because it doesn't make any sense to pay that additional shipping for something you guys can readily get over there. You know, I mean, it's just not available here. So US, I don't know if it's available in Canada. I can't remember, but anyways, sorry. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually do a giveaway. And I'm going to give away one tube of the Olay Pro Retinol white version. The UK version, this is the Olay Eyes Pro Retinol white. And this is going to be open, um, not internationally. I'm sorry. I'm not going to answer any comments on this video. You do have to, here's the rules. You have to be subscribed to the channel. You obviously have to like the video. You have to leave me a comment and you have to say that, yes, you're interested in the UK version of the Olay Pro Retinol. If you don't put that in the comment, I'm going to assume that you're not interested at all in it. If you have any specific questions, leave them in a previous video because as a giveaway, I don't want to comment because random picker is going to do its thing. So I apologize for being such a mess, but I did want to get this video uploaded and I wanted to share all the beautiful fall scenery that we had here. So um, yeah, don't forget, you have to be subscribed. You have to like the video and um, you have to say you're interested in this. Thanks guys.